uh, Manwan, just share a, just a bit about your journey with street art with everybody. I, I want to get started that way. Yeah, well, um, <clears throat> when I got started in uh, 1987 uh, doing graffiti, I was like 16 years old. This is before street art. We didn't call it street art. Street art is a new term you know, that came in the 2000s. So when I was doing it, it was just graffiti. And um, I, I was drawing since I was a little kid. I was always an artist. But I got into hip hop, um, you know, maybe about 12 years old. Yeah. Um, but I never really looked at the graffiti as something I could do. I just, you know, it was just part of hip hop, whatever. Um, but then when I was in high school one day, um, this kid was tagging on the bus with a marker, you know. And I said, hey, what are you doing? You know, and he's like, oh, I'm just, you know, doing graffiti here. And he gave me the marker. <laughs> and then I said, what, what do I do? What, yeah. I, what do I write? He said, anything but your real name. You know, uh -huh. so I was listening on my headphones to a group called Mantronics from New York. So I tagged Mantronics, yeah, you know, just being stupid and silly. Um, but every day I was like, hey, give me the marker. Let me, you know, <laughs> let me do it again. So every day I, on the bus, I was doing this. But after like two weeks on the bus, I was, it was the same bus over and over. <laughs> so I got bored and I said, I want to do it on the streets, you know? Yeah. So then he said, oh, well, he introduced me to someone else and, it was very underground back then. You know, you didn't you didn't know who a graffiti writer was or wasn't. You know, yeah. um, no one talked about it. No one had their name on their hats. You know, <laughs> nothing, nothing like, nothing that. like that. Very underground. And so, you know, he said, "I think this guy does it. We'll hang out with him." And we went on the streets, and that's how you learn. Just in the middle of the night. Yeah. Um, or also on weekends, there were some locations where it's not legal, but the cops don't go there uh -huh. because it's very tough neighborhoods. Yeah. So we were painting there. And that's where I learned how to paint. And I started doing stuff on the streets and learning how to spray paint. And I realized really quickly that Mantronics was too long. Yeah. <laughs> By the time I got to the X, I'd probably get arrested, you know? Oh. <laughs> so I cut it down to the first three letters, Man, M-A-N. Yeah. And that became my street name. So Man has always been my street name since the beginning. Um, the one at the end is kind of like a copyright, a trademark. You know, there's, there's no Man 2 or Man 10. Yeah. It's, a man one from LA and that's it. So I've been doing that ever since. And, um, you know, it took a lot of years of, mm. I knew it was an art form since the beginning. Yeah. And I, I remember being 16, 17 years old telling my friends, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Wow. And my friends were like, no, nah, who's no one's going to pay you to do graffiti. It's impossible. No one's going to buy it. And I just knew it was art and I just kept practicing and getting bigger. I wanted to do big murals like we're doing now. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't know how, I didn't have the skills, I was practicing. Um, I went to college, got my degree, um, and when I got out, that was in 1993, I got out from college, and this is all I've been doing full-time ever since, you know? Beautiful. And so it's been a long journey, but, um, and in that time, the shift has happened between collectors um, and just other people who who now view this as a viable art form, you know? so. When the term street art happened because of Banksy and artists like that, yeah. um, it was really important because now it didn't sound terrible, you know? Yeah. Because before, when you said, oh, I'm a graffiti artist, people looked at you like, oh, yeah, I don't want to talk to you. You're doing graffiti because you're vandalizing. The, and their image is you're vandalizing the city. Yeah. And, um, and also cops, when they knew you were a graffiti artist, they thought if you have a spray can in your hand, you probably have a gun, too. So oh. they treat you huh. very bad. So when street art started happening, you know, um, a lot of graffiti artists were very much against street art. Like they didn't like the term at all, you know, because um, street artists were artists who usually work alone. Yeah. And maybe they work in the studio and then they put their art on the street. Graffiti artists work on the street. Exactly. And they learn on the street and they work within a subculture of graffiti. So it's very different culture than street art. So for a long time, a lot of graffiti artists had a very big problem with street artists, you know? Uh, if they would see a street artist, they'd go beat him up or Whoa. take his paint or, or whatever. Um, but now things have changed and now it's more accepted. Yeah. And um, I think it's a good thing because now when people hear street art, they, they think of art. They think of something different, something cool. They don't think of like, oh, you're a vandal or whatever. So I'm never offended. I've, they call me a street artist, graffiti artist, muralist. Yeah. Whatever you want to call me, I'm, I'm doing the same thing, so. <laughs> wow, wow.
This program is brought to you by Vya Studios. Thank you very much for supporting the podcast so far. And if you want to see more content, more shows, then make sure that you subscribe to our channel.